We spoke with Columbia Business School professor Joseph Stiglitz, author of The Price of Inequality. And we started with what the price of income inequality is for America's economy. Most Americans are worse off than they were, say, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, new data just coming in from the Fed points out that they, they have a lower well, level of wealth than they had, say, uh, 20 years ago. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we become the country with the least economic opportunity of any of the advanced industrial countries for which there's data. Are you equating financial inequality with uh, unfairness, with an unfair economy? If you look at the people who are at the top, they're not the people who really transformed our economy. They're not the inventors of the transistor, the inventor of the laser, the computer, uh, the discoverer of the DNA. They're people who manipulated the system. Uh, they're people, monopolists, who, who actually use their monopoly power to contract output to increase their uh, profits. According to the Census Bureau, the percent of households making over $200,000 per year is close to the highest it's been since the Census Bureau began tracking this since the late 1960s. So there's more Americans uh, at that top 10% than there's ever been before. Isn't that uh, an indication of the opportunities that have been out there in this economy? One way of looking at it is the fraction of the income that goes to the top 1% today is twice what it was in 1980. It's about 20%. Okay. $25 right. goes to the percent. Yeah, in fact, the Census Bureau finds 21% of the nation's income goes to the top 5% of households. These are folks making over $181,000 in 19, or rather in 2010 figures. All of those income earners do face higher taxes next year with that coming fiscal cliff. Uh, you know, give us an idea of some public policy remedies that uh, will we'll go after this inequality that you've identified and uh, have called. The top 1% pays an average tax rate of 15%, less than those who work for a living. And that, again, distorts our economy because the way they get those lower taxes is uh, uh, because uh, capital gains is taxed right. at a low rate, speculation is taxed at a low rate. So one of the easy things to do is to create a fair tax system where speculators are taxed just like workers. We've got more from the Nobel Prize winning economist Joseph Stiglitz on our